Don't worry about it, my sister, said Tante Rosie with gentleness. By the grace of the man God, I have used so many powers, powers given me by the Great One herself. If you can no longer bear the eyes of the enemy that you see in your dreams, the man God, who speaks me from the Great Mother of us all, will see if those eyes are eaten away. If the hands of your enemy have struck you, they can be made useless. Tante Rosie held up a small piece of what was once lustrous pewter, now is pockmarked and blackened and deteriorating. Do you see this metal? she asked. Yes, I see it, said Mrs. Kemhoff with interest. She took it in her hands and rubbed it. The part of the mop that you want destroyed will rot away in the same fashion. Mrs. Kemhoff relinquished the piece of metal to Tante Rosie. You are a true sister, she said. Is it enough, Tante Rosie asked. I would give anything to stop her grinning behind her hands, said the woman, drawing out a tattered billfold. Her hands or her grinning mouth, asked Tante Rosie. The hands hid her grinning smiles. 